Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. For today's video, I am going to be doing a room tour for you guys. And this is my bedroom, but it's also where I film all of my YouTube videos. I paint here, I play games, I edit my videos. Everything happens in this room for me. And I spend more than half of my day in this room. I have been planning a room makeover for months now, but it's been delayed because of the COVID situation. But I've recently started organizing and decluttering my stuff. So I'm going to start the makeover process very soon. I just wanted to say that this is going to be a pre-makeover room tour and a lot of my walls and most of my stuff is not decorated that well because I wanted to change the layout of the room and I wanted to film this video before I start doing the makeover stuff so that I can look back and see all of the changes that I made. So just keep that in mind because a lot of things are going to change here. And if you want regular updates on all the makeover, DIY kind of stuff that I do for this room, make sure you follow my Instagram. The link will be in the description. And also make sure to subscribe because a makeover video is going to be coming very soon. So let's just get started with the room tour. This is what you see when you enter the room. As you can see, I have these yellow and green curtains. Yellow, green and orange. They're a mix of yellow, green and orange. And they just hang up to there. So I will be changing that, but that is what the curtains look like right now. And the carpet. So it's this blue kind of carpet it's pretty much faded out through the years but it has this pattern going all over and you can see the faded part because there used to be a piece of furniture over here that is what it used to look like and this is what it looks like now and also i have this wire going through the middle of my room this is the LAN cable that i use to connect to my laptop to play games and i will be showing you guys like sections of my room explaining everything so let's start off with the left side and we have our cupboards and our closet wardrobe whatever you want to call it over here yeah, this is my wardrobe I have all my hanging stuff my sweatshirt shirts jackets that I recently got out for winter and up there I have a storage shelf, I have a box full of clothes and I have two duffel bags full of clothes that I don't need right now as well. And down here we have three dresser drawers, whatever, but these have all my clothes in them. And on this side we have another cupboard and this is the one that I posted on my Instagram stories. I did a before and after for this one. It was really messy. I organized this last week. So I have some hats and caps on the top shelf. And then this shelf is for all of my art stuff. I have all the notebooks, art journals, completed art journals, and craft papers. Everything that is related to my art stuff is up there. And I have a little fake sunflower just to brighten up this cupboard. And then on this shelf, I have my vanity kind of stuff so I have my makeup brushes and then I have my perfumes my makeup I have a little jewelry box and I have my sunglasses my perfumes and um, more jewelry stuff I think and on the bottom most thing I have my typewriter I have my old Nokia phones I have the vintage camera and this is my DIY box that is filled with stuff that I can use for future DIYs and I also have my graduation plaques and stuff at the back. On these drawers I have more clothes so that was it for the um, wardrobe cupboard section. Moving on to our corner here we have my mirror and I really like this mirror. The best thing about this part is this light. I have this focus light. Uh, let me turn it on but it gives a really nice lighting. And behind me, I have the floating shelves 
and this wasn't supposed to be here but um i just placed it to see if the shelves were sitting straight and if i needed to adjust the knots i have my go-to mask if i need to go out and this is all just random i just wanted to see how the shelf looked and i will be including this in a diy project very soon i have plans for this shelf and so we're gonna move on to this part so we're gonna start here this is my filming table i film all of my painting videos on this one if you haven't noticed it had a really busy pattern on it which i didn't really like so i just slapped on some marble contact paper and you can see the line it's not very clean but it does the job and it's a really good background for painting videos this one is full of random paint brushes that i bought throughout the months and this one is an old dresser it was my mom's old dresser after she got married and now i do most of my artworks on this table when i'm not filming on that table i just have some books i was reading this poetry book yesterday which is why it's still out this is my recent art journal and then i have my little drink bottle for my water i have some micron pens pigment liner sorry from sta and then this one has all my gel pens all the different colored gel pens glitter pens and some scissors and these are my glasses so this little cupboard has mostly art stuff it has my little cutting board and um some new canvas mini canvas things this one has all my artworks from my youtube videos some more sketchbooks this one is a diy piggy bank that i made a few years ago and i love it it really motivates me to save money and then down there we have more stationery that's my what are those Stedler markers <laughs> And this one has my um, acrylic paints. As for the next one, it has this little key. This is my junk cupboard. So anything that does not have a particular place and I don't want to throw away is in this one. It has random craft papers, spray bottle, liquor bottle that I wanted to DIY, toilet roll. So whenever I have stuff that... I don't know where to put it goes in there so for the drawers so for the first drawer I have my nail polish collection which is not a lot I have two rolls of washi tape both of these are from Miniso I have my hand sanitizer I have uh, my lip balms chocolates my watch this is all randomly organized and this one has all medicine stuff and then back there i have um my wallets that i don't use anymore because i don't go out anymore this is my phone case which i just put there to film and then in here i have random stuff as well some makeup stuff some jewelry nail cutters <laughs> it's all random but yeah for the second one i have my journals i put my art journal here as well but it has my bullet journal my youtube planner this in this notebook i plan all my youtube videos and i also write some voiceovers there sometimes then this one is the new sketchbook that i got i haven't really started filling it in and then i have my two watercolor palettes this is the koi watercolors and this is the windsor and newton one and then this is my paintbrush. This is the Brustro paintbrush set. Oh, it's opening. Can you see that? Yeah. And then I have my dirty acrylic palette down there. But it looks really organized. I'm really happy with myself. And then for the bottom most drawer, I have random things. So I have all my um, paint tubes. And this one has gouache acrylic and watercolor tubes the mini ones and i'm really glad i did this diy because it looks really cute in that basket then i have more 
random paint bottles. I have some LED lights that I want to use for Dose Tihar. I also have my spray can bottle. I recently decluttered this one. That's why it's mostly empty, but it will fill out in time. So that is it for this part of my room. Now here I have a little dustbin and I have my tripod. I got this tripod when I reached 500 subs and before that I want to show you my YouTube setup before I got the tripod. I will insert a picture right now and it was a real struggle but I made it work and I just wanted to give myself a little tripod after reaching 500 subs. I use this chair to sit on when I work on this table. It's just an old sofa from my mom's old office and I just covered it with this throw blanket which is really soft and I really like the color. But it's just the perfect um, height for this table so it works really well. Okay, so let's move on to this part. This is my gaming setup plus my work space, I guess. So this is where I edit all my videos and also play a lot of games. So I have this chair. I don't know if I want to show this on video, but this is a really old chair. It's this faux leather thing, which has faded in most of the parts. And it also has my butt print on it because it's really old. And just look at this. Can you see that? It wiggles. This chair is the main reason my back hurts at this age. And I will be replacing this very soon in the room makeover. This is my number one priority. So this is my work or gaming area. I have my Dell G7 series laptop. I don't know which exactly it is, but everything will be on the screen or in the description. And then I have this keyboard. This table was specifically made for this room by my mom, by the way. And so it has a keyboard um, thing as well. This is a Logitech um, G200 series keyboard, I think. I'm not sure. I will put it on the screen. But it works really well. I've had this for more than a year now. And I, I really like it. So this is an external fan that I need for the laptop because it heats up a lot. And then I have my gaming mouse. This is the um, Logitech G700S. And yes, it has a lot of buttons. And these buttons are the secret to my building in Fortnite. Then I have my JBL headphones. I have a little blue Miniso speaker back there. If I want to listen to music and I have another water bottle here then up here we have our little bookshelf area and I don't really buy books for myself I love reading books but I've never really bought books for myself except for my Harry Potter collection and then all of these I think are either borrowed or gifted to me I think I bought this one to all the boys I've heard before but everything else was gifted or they're my mom's I'm not sure then here I have this little laughing Buddha statue that was gifted to me by my friend and then I have an Iron Man toy thing I got it in the uh, Kinder Joy egg chocolate thing <laughs> and then I have a little pen this is the Gryffindor pen and then I have my own painting of a little window with clouds outside it's not the best but it's one of my favorite paintings so up here we have my little spider-man this is from Miniso I absolutely love this and I am a huge fan of Spider-Man, so this is always here. Then I have more of my paintings. This one, it was for a YouTube video as well. This one was the first painting from my mini canvas series in IGTV. And this moon painting is one of the first paintings that I did after I restarted painting like a year ago. So it's very special to me and it also hides a little stain that is on the wall behind it 
and then over here this is my diy frame that i did on my instagram story and this one is another one of my first kind of paintings my handwriting is horrible on this but i still like it because of the message because i spend like more than half of my day on this table and up there i have that wall clock which i actually really like and i have a little lamp up there in these drawers i have most of my wires my old phone my hard drive and stuff like that and this one has a little bit of snacks and wires as well and this is my little corner where i hide stuff that's my yoga mat if i want to ever exercise which never really happens that's my ukulele i play sometimes and then i have my stabilizer over there and that table is something that i used to film my youtube videos before i got the tripod and it's still there so we are done with this part of our room so let's move on to this little area this has an almost full length mirror above the mirror i have this artwork this is a really dark painting that i did but i really like it just above the mirror so it's there and then on here we have some cd artworks that i did and a little spongebob and patrick sticker and another like cd artwork that i did we have a little gryffindor flag up there and we have our bed area this is my bed that is my bedside table i have a little red lamp i really like that lamp and then i have two soft toys that were gifted to me on my birthday and then i have my little panda over here i have a gray blanket there's just this gray bare wall behind my bed so the story behind this is that we have chances of earthquakes here and i really wanted to hang paintings and frames up there but there was a risk that it would fall on my face when i was sleeping so i haven't really gotten the chance to do much on that wall but after i filmed this video i told you i was going to rearrange all my furniture so my bed is going to move and that wall will be ready to decorate you can see those two lights they're like sailboat shaped I mean that light is facing that side so this one should face the other way and that really bothers me and the most interesting or unique part let's say of this room is that I have a skylight I mean it's a really cool thing to have in your room and when I was a kid it used to give me nightmares because you could if there's a car coming on the other side of the road you could see the car lights on this part like that slope part and it really used to scare me a lot it still scares me <laughs> so that is it for the video thank you for watching and i'm going to be changing a lot a lot a lot of this stuff so make sure you subscribe to see what all changes i make in this room and also follow my instagram because i will be posting regular updates of the changes and that i do to this room on there and i hope i'll see you in the next one bye